Hey, it's Movie Cat, and I'm here with Kay. And you know what I and you know what I found out from watching Big Top Scooby Doo? What? Women like jewelry. Oh, and you didn't know that before. I had a guess. How to lose a guy in ten days? You mm -hmm. could have been frosted. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we're reviewing one of the straight to DVD Warner Brothers movies, Big Top Scooby Doo. Uh, basically, what it involves is werewolves have been stealing jewelry because when they get when they get five when they get five jewels that's when they have you know total world power and also um it's a werewolf where if you if they bite you then you become a werewolf so and the gang arrives in Atlantic City although I think the way they, they described it, it sounded more like Myrtle Beach to me because they said it was crime free and nothing bad happens Unless it's a Trump Tower. Oh! Anyway. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, they wanted to have a relaxing vacation in Atlantic City. And there was a billboard of Shaggy's favorite... Um, like the Wolfensteins or something. Or the yeah. Wolf... Wolf... Some pun... Like a... Uh, what would you say? Were, are they like Kiss or like... Yeah, but they didn't wear facial makeup. No, but I mean he like how wore... they sounded. Oh, they were worse than Kiss. They were more like bang your head against the wall. <laughs> yeah. Rock on! Not understanding. And then right after they see that billboard when they arrive in Atlantic City. Fred sees. Fred sees. There's a circus in town. Woo! And he loves the cir He apparently loves the circus. Even though I don't remember that being canon, but whatever. Well, he said the summer before, whatever, yeah, he, he took a circus... Circus class or class, something? Class, and he and, learned the trapeze and... And he broke bones, and let's just leave it at that yeah. because the, it's pretty funny. <laughs> they they explain it later, but it's, it's pretty funny how he breaks bones. It's like, jeez. So anywhere this circus goes, the werewolf shows up and um, jewelry or stones valuable stones they are get stolen. they get into it by essentially breaking the law and trespassing because right. there's an open door right so then each of the characters go undercover to help out the circus because this werewolf scares a lot of the circus people away so scooby and shaggy are obviously you know part of the animal act and they're with this I have no idea who, I don't remember who, what his name is, but if you can think about, like, uh, Craig Ferguson, if he had long blonde hair, that's pretty much what he looks like. That's the guy, and it's voiced by Craig Ferguson, which, not as much Craig Ferguson as I would have liked. Yeah, maybe. Wasn't he the animal trainer? Yeah, that's what I said. Oh, okay. So he trained, like, the baboons, the elephant, the horses, and mm -hmm. things like that. And there's a way on how he trains them. Should should we say like what his secret is? Go ahead. Okay. He he speaks to them in Spanish so that way they won't get distracted when people scream at them in English. So when the crowd is roaring and clapping, they still can hear the commands in Spanish and not be confused. Mm -hmm. So Fred is Fred is pretty much hanging out with the most jealous boyfriend you can think of the most jealous <laughs> insecure short... boyfriend you can wasn't he russian or something i think they yeah, were the they were all or... like they were all like russian and french and like scottish Swedish and yeah the seven continents or something no ten continents Ten continents. that's right <laughs> but there's only seven so. people we know that there aren't ten continents it's a joke in the movie no yeah. comments hey i said so no comments daphne, I, I see you daphne was helping out the clowns yeah, Fred and there was, was the should trapeze. we say the funny running gag with the with one of the clowns? Which one? The one that made the... Oh. If you remember Lizzie McGuire, that show, how Lenny, he never talked and yet everyone understood him. The way this clown talks is basically by honking his horn and everyone understands him for some reason. Right. Even when, even later on, Fred understands him for like, like, how did you... Okay, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, and Velma. Who, who? Oh yeah, Velma. She was a human cannonball or something. Yeah, she was getting shot out. Should of we a say rocket. what her pre? What her other options would have been? Knife throwing. Knife throwing. Uh, swallowing a sword. Swallowing a sword and uh, eating fire. 
<laughs> so she's like, let's go back to the knife throwing. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she doesn't want to do it, but yeah, she has to. Um, and then Shaggy is a performer. He uh, We already said that. Right. But Scooby-Doo is the one that does all the tricks. Mm-hmm. But Scooby doesn't get any credit. Shaggy yeah, gets They even it. call him, like, Scabby. Scabby instead of Scooby. So, you know, Scooby gets really upset and jealous and everything. So. There's Now, it is a Scooby-Doo movie, so, of course, Shaggy and Scooby have to eat. And what, it was, what was so funny was they go to this rib place where, if you know of all-you-can-eat ribs, this is beyond all-you-can-eat ribs, where they stuff you, where they take as many ribs as you can, and then they, like, pour, get force feed dessert like through a funnel or something no 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 that's the one rib place they haven't been to yet. no no the other one is the the that's no that's the one in this movie the other oh. one the rib reaper is the one where uh oh it's all you can eat ribs and they give you like a coupon for like a free heart surgery or something oh, yeah. <laughs> either the heart surgeon or cardiologist or whatever no it was heart surgeon staff. yeah so this one, you eat all the ribs you can, and then they use a spatula to make sure you eat your dessert. Yeah. Um, so. And it's... One thing that I didn't like was I didn't like Shaggy's subplot. Like, it seemed kind of out of character for him. Yeah, because he does everything with Scooby-Doo, and then this time he's a superstar, and he's acting like a superstar, and mm -hmm. forgetting about the people that helped to get him there, and, you know... Not, not forgetting about the rest of the group, just forgetting about Scooby. Yeah, and essentially and not Scooby, treating him as his friend, but more of like as his canine companion. Right, that Shaggy was a trainer and taught Scooby all these things. Yeah. And it Scooby was, actually has a mind of his own. So. Yeah. And then there's a bit about how they think it's a human in a dog suit. Yeah. And there's one funny, there's a funny bit, but I'm not, I'm not going to reveal it in don't reveal it either, Kay, okay? I don't know what you're talking about. It's the bit about uh, when Scooby gets bitten by a werewolf. Oh, in his dream. Don't, it it's, was in his dream. Yeah, but it is so... I'm not going <laughs> to yeah, say it's, what it's it was. It's pretty funny. I'm not going to say what it was. That um, would kind of ruin it. Then, so, yeah, they have to try to capture the werewolves. Um, And it was, a, it was a guessing game that me and Kay were doing. Like, who is this? Like... I'm, I'll bet you it's that person. It's like, nope, it's not that person. Is it this person? No. This? No. This? No. This? No. And there's a twist where, about who the, about who the villain is, isn't there? Yeah. Well, after the train goes to the next no, 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 stop. No, no, no. After they capture the villain. No, the train goes to the next stop. I want they... to leave that as a surprise. I said oh. it's a twist. Okay. Um. Then I won't say anything. There's a Scooby-Doo movie that's coming up that we already reviewed that I thought was done a lot that I thought was done a lot funnier with uh but yeah. Also, maybe it was just me but Shaggy in a few places didn't sound like Shaggy. Like he was he kind of sounded like this and then other times he was, you know, just regular Shaggy. Um well he was enjoying all the glitz and glamour and women. Mhm. Mm so that's very unlike Shaggy. So would you recommend this movie? Yes, as a high man or a rental, a rental. It was straight to DVD. Yeah, I know. So Are you going to buy a TV? Are you No. Is Matinee buying a TV? No, just a <laughs> rental. And when we're done reviewing all three, you can get all of them at once and just have a, a great, filled, funny, laughy day. Yes, just three out of the many Scooby-Doo movies that we have and will review. Because there's no way these reviews are out of order. Well, since this is part of the... Since this is part of the October... Since it's part of the October horror movie, I guess we should do a hint for tomorrow. And what I'll say is... um. Okay. What? Look. What? I see white people. Ghosts. That's a hint for the next for tomorrow's oh, move for tomorrow's okay. review. Okay. Okay. Whatever. Something tells me you're probably not going to be on that. You're probably not going to see that review. You're not a fan of 
You're not a fan of who I'm talking... You're not a fan of The Star Tomorrow. No, I'm not. You did like a few of their movies. But, you know. So, okay. See ya.